What's up everyone? So a transmission shop, they called me out to program a 2008 Jeep Patriot for them. They installed a transmission control module. Now, with that being said, I'm not 100% sure why. I don't know what the customer's original complaint was. But when I first got there, I did a health check and the only code I had in the transmission control module uh, was a P0602 for the control module programming or uh, excuse me, control module programming error, not program code. So that was a P0602. Uh, once I was done programming, that code went away. The problem is, while I was test driving this afterwards, the check engine light came on and the vehicle wasn't shifting very uh, smoothly. Uh, so when I got back to the transmission shop, I scanned some codes and I had a P0722 code for the output shaft speed sensor circuit, no signal. Now. You all said you didn't mind raw cell phone parking lot footage. Uh, so this here is about as raw as you can get. As soon as I pulled this code, I pulled out my cell phone. Uh, you get to see every step of the process. The only thing that I did not film was I used an oscilloscope to scope at the um, at the output smash, output shaft speed sensor. And I didn't film that while I was driving the vehicle because if you can imagine, I had my left hand out the window holding the oscilloscope because the oscilloscope, the U-scope lead was a little too short for me to lay it anywhere nicely. So my left hand was out the window, I was holding onto my U-scope and my right hand was driving. Uh, so yeah, there's no footage of me using the oscilloscope while driving through the parking lot. But just to catch you all up right before this video takes place, I had no I had no signal at my at my output shaft speed sensor circuit. So just a quick little video on how to test uh, three wire speed sensor circuits, uh, Hall effects circuits. So hope you all enjoy and uh, make sure you like and subscribe. I'm in a transmission shop right now dealing with a Jeep uh, Patriot that they're, that they're having issues with. Originally, I got called in for a P0602. They installed a new TCM. Um, uh, this TCM needed program, which was the P0602. I programmed it, and when I test drove it, when I was done, I had a P0722 uh, that popped back up, which is an output speed sensor code. Uh, so we're gonna go along we're gonna test this uh, I'm gonna take this on the test drive I'm just gonna record the test drive just to show you all that this output speed sensor is not working so here is my test drive I only drove it around the parking lot but you see I got about uh, 12 miles per hour but my speed sensor from my transmission uh, wasn't picking up any speed at all uh, this speed comes from the output speed shaft um, so we're gonna check the powers grounds and the signal wires to this. Uh, this thing runs off 12 volts from the tip -um, and it grounds, I think it's just a normal body, or yeah, I think it's just a normal body ground. Uh, so I'm gonna check powers and grounds, most likely with a test light, and then I'm gonna check uh, my signal circuit. All the way down there is my output speed shaft sensor code, but it was nice, or they're nice. They give me a nice long harness to test this with. So like I said, I'm gonna use my test light for power and ground. It should be 12 volts uh, on my power side, and it should, if I remember correctly, it should ground to a body ground, so it should be safe to use my test light. All right, so I have my test light hooked up to battery negative. I'm going into this yellow wire here. Uh, I'm using a front probe. It's hard to do this all without a tripod, but you can see on my power wire, I have uh, battery voltage it is lighting up my test light. Uh, so I have battery voltage coming into my yellow wire from my tip -um. and I'm gonna swap this over to battery ground, my test light to battery ground, and I'm going to check that uh, pin three, that white and green wire. All right, connected to battery ground. Now I'm in white and green, and my test light lights up. So that means my ground is good, right? So I'm sending power through my test light, grounding it through this sensor, and I double checked uh, I double checked just to just to be sure and this does ground at the um, transmission ECU uh, but it's fine this, this thing's a low amperage test light uh, so I have good power and ground now I just got to check my signal wire from the transmission all the way to the TCM all right you all can hate me for this but 
I have uh, my signal wire pierced. And one of the things I notice right off the bat is I have about 10.6 volts on my signal wire. Now I'm gonna take this test right out of the scanner danner playbook here. And um, I'm going to take my test light connected to ground and pull this circuit to ground. So again, I am connected to battery ground with my test light. When I take this, uh, let's see if I can do this. So I, I touch this wire. It does not light up because this signal circuit does not flow current. But you see I have no voltage. I'm gonna take my test light away and it goes back up. Now the point of this test is I'm going to wiggle this around in here, just like this. And I'm going to watch scan data and see if I can get a uh, change in my scan data. See, there you go. So if I get this just right, uh, you can see right here, I was able to get some uh, readings out of this. A couple things. Number one, I knew on my signal circuit that my TCM was providing uh, 12 volts or, or 11 volts to my sensor and my sensor's job is to pull this down. So I knew that the electric, uh, you know, the wiring from the TCM to my uh, output speed shaft sensor was good because uh, I had 11 volts on it. I plugged it in also just to uh, load the circuit some and it, it stayed at 11 volts with a plugged in. So this, the signal circuit um, is good from the TCM all the way to this output speed shaft sensor. The problem is the speed shaft sensor, for some reason, is not pulling that circuit to ground. Uh, I don't know if it's a reluctor ring issue. Most likely it isn't. Uh, it could be, but most likely it isn't. So it's either a reluctor ring issue or just a bad output speed shaft sensor. I'm gonna see if I have the tools to take this speed sensor out. It looks like a Torx and I don't have a Torx socket with me. Uh, so that might be something they do, but uh, if I can pull it, I'll let you all know.